bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Captain Annie stands in the control room, talking with Creepy Bridgie and Dr. Thumbs over here. She was hearing some, uh, some bizarre radio transmissions from another crew. Something about a Ralcom Meadows having uh, medical issues. Unfortunately, they're too far away to help. And uh, Captain Annie has her own problems to deal with. Hopefully, wherever that captain is, his ship is doing okay. Captain Annie checks on a, a power node and does a little whistling. Seems like there's a, a party going on here. I think maybe it's somebody's birthday. I don't know. It's, it's pretty nice. This Maybe the comfort level is really high in here. 29. I think actually... Oh, yeah. Okay, for some reason, somehow, maybe with this couch, the light is exactly even... And then the juke or the, the the arcade. This is the most comfortable spot I think in the on the whole ship. So it makes sense why people would come and hang out there. Uh, hopefully, I can do the same on the new mega ship that we are building. Uh, in the meantime, the SCS moving on up is is coming is coming on up. I've started moving all of the infra blocks over to this ship, and I feel like I want to do. We're gonna do a little bit of trading here. And uh, hopefully they have a lot of water and stuff. And I think we're just going to keep loading a few things over uh, before we move on. The hull stability is almost uh, filled up. I've got two stabilizers. I want to get some more in here. I want this to be a tanky little ship while we survive on it. And uh, in the meantime, let's make sure we get... Because I think... Where are we at here? No water left on the Fourchette. Tons of water on the Starlighter. Not sure... How that all... I mean, that's a great amount of water, so we should split up some of that water, but we should still do some trading. So let's at least get a bunch of stuff over to the Fourchette. And, or I guess should we send... Hang on. Let's send a bunch over to the Moving On Up. Uh, let's send a 10 stack of water over there. We still have 20,000 space to gloons, so we're going to be good. Uh, we can do a lot of these trades. Then we'll send some over to the Fourchette just to keep that thing alive and ticking. I also think maybe we should look at some building blocks. Like, maybe we need a couple of these... Uh, oh, there aren't really not much to build with. I'll get these energy rods while we're at it. That's another 1,300 doubloons of trade right there. Uh, and then we'll do just another round. Uh, we'll just get all these energy rods here because every one of those energy rods that we uh, accept and trade for gives us just a little bit more time to sit and to focus. And, you know, is it does it end up being boring content? Yeah, sure, maybe a bit. But, look... I, you know, I'm just trying to get ready to transition to a very uh, a big moment in our lives. So give me a break. Okay, we'll get a bit of profit back just because I felt bad about spending all my money. In the meantime, I think we should just, like, set up all the storage here. Thanks for your comments. There were some really good points made. One being, like, you should actually have your storage like this so it's just a straight shot down. Uh, this is going to create a lot of, like, walking around, uh, unfortunately. So I did kind of, I guess, go with... Um, Aesthetics over actual uh, efficiency in the design, maybe, is what I've done. Oh, see, now that's not going to work with that power node being right there. So that's kind of annoying. Maybe we could do... Maybe we could switch it up now. <laughs> what if we did one here? Whoops, whoops. Again, and, you know... You know, get, let's give me just, like, a tiny little break. <laughs> because... We know that this is a temporary ship. Um, you know, so don't, you know, I guess like what I'm saying is like, don't scream at me in the comments, but but none of you were, so it's okay. Uh, let's move these over to line up with the power node. That's gonna make more sense. Then we can move this fella to be aligned with that one. We might as well just build all the storage. I don't know why in the previous episode I was like, trying not to build all the storage right away. Uh, and I think maybe that's enough storage. I'm not sure. We'll just put that one in there. So that, again, that isn't, it's not the most efficient walking around in this area, but that's going to be a lot of storage rooms, a lot of space to store things. Um, I mean, again, we're not really going to use this space for much else. So we might put one there because this room, you know, there's all this space left and we're probably not going to go with uh, food bays in this one. It'll just be all algae for a bit, which will lead to some, um, you know, some some nutrition problems. Uh, hopefully, yeah, it doesn't seem like we have many nutrition problems at all right now. Everybody's eating well. Uh, so so that's good. But, uh, you know, it's going to come back. We're going to have some health problems. 
Uh, somebody did comment uh, that, you know, why am I, like, stop growing food, why am I doing that? And just, just to let you know, yeah, you actually do have a problem. If they have an iron or a protein, not iron, a protein deficiency or carbohydrate deficiency, they actually recover their health a lot slower, uh, and they work a little slower too, I think. So, I think... Uh, getting them well fed is very important, but for our transition ship, I just don't think we have time to get into a bunch of cycles of food and growing and try to keep this crew alive when really what we need is to build like 600 of these beds and try to keep CO2 regulated at the same time. I mean, maybe we should have grow beds. Maybe it should just be rows and rows of beds and then a grow bed opposite them and then the plants can just soak up all that CO2. Again, it just is a lot of work to do. Um, now, this ship here, like, what are we... I wish we could see how much storage capacity it has. Is there a way to do that on the... No, uh, not really. Yeah, it doesn't tell me how much storage capacity I have. But again, we're going to need at least... I mean, look, we're going to take all of this apart. We're going to need absolute metric tons of storage capacity. I'm seeing my batteries draining over here. And I'm wondering uh, what that means. Wait a minute. A connection has been broken between here, I think. What's going on here? Links. There's no connection. <laughs> the connection got severed, which means that they are... This is actually an interesting experiment. I don't know why this connection got severed, but it looks like it's powering this thing, which is making tech blocks. So this whole thing has been just taking care of itself. Powering my... Oh, I mean, that's not... That's kind of cool. I think that's the case. I don't think there's anything else powering... Like this one? Yeah, this one. So this has been entirely powered by the advanced assembler... Uh, 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 by, by this whole sort of network here. And it's producing four power per second. It's storing, th it's rapidly, f no, it's not rapidly filling the batteries up. It's like rapidly emptying the batteries. I think, let's see here, 68, 74, 71, 87, 54. Okay, uh, somebody did come and use this though, I think. <laughs> What's going on in here? What's, what else is pulling power out of this space? So this is trying desperately to get its power back up. Both of these are drawing more power than the solar panels can produce. I think that's a question of like that we should we should look into. It, are the solar panels? I'm getting a draw of 3.5 out of that. So are these solar panels all they're cracked up to be, or do I just have way too many batteries trying to pull too much? No, it looks like they are building up again. I think it's every any time this gets used, the whole system drains out. There's something in here that's constantly draining power. Okay, let's see, let's see. Yeah, no, these are all building up again, so this is fine. This is not drawing any power while it's not being used. But for some reason, maybe it's because it fills this up and then dumps it back onto the battery. Yeah, so this... Oh, this is fascinating. Okay, it does look like these are filling up. And then that uses 8.6. 20, oh, 20.6 20 point, 20 point per second at its height. So that that'll then in turn drain all these batteries. This is fascinating. I did not know that this whole end of the, uh, of the thing was by, like, functioning by itself. But that really does, it's not bad. It takes off a whole lot of power from this area. It takes off a whole lot of load from the main ship. Uh, but we have a lot of energy rods, so, like, let's not do that. <laughs> there we go. Let's hook that back up. Okay, well, that was a fascinating little piece of, of natural science. Our whole storage area is looking decent. I mean, it's, yeah, okay, it's not our favorite. I get that. Our logistics robot is great. You know what we should do? Logistics bots all up and down this end here. That's what we got to do, folks. Somebody told me that these have been updated now. And, oh, you can find your robot now. That's great. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, overview. Energy cells. Okay, so they use energy cells, and I'm not sure if we've confirmed. So this is... That might not be new. That might just be me being stupid <laughs> and, and not seeing it. So that's a lot of energy cells that it's probably going to go through. I'm not sure how many energy cells it goes through at a time, but let's start building at least a few along here. Let's make sure there's 
So this area here has some power right now. We'll have to get more power out there eventually. Let's get some logistics bots right up along here. There we go. And make sure that's powered. That one's might not be powered. We'll get a, like a wall node over here. I wish we could move it one over. Oh, that's fine. We've got a window. I mean, the window... Look, obviously you shouldn't have lots of windows, but I just... I like having windows. What do you want from me? Over here, we've got Frank and Colleen. They are being recruited. Any second now, they're going to join the team and join our, our burgeoning... Burgeoning? Crew. I think this crew is burgeoning. You could say that this is a growing crew. And I'm, I'm look, I'll be honest, I'm looking forward to getting back to one ship just so that we can really focus on, uh, you know, do we have enough supplies? You know, stuff like that. I might get our X3 power generator in here um, just to make sure that we have enough stuff going on, just to make sure that we have enough room for everything and that everything's going to fit. Uh, we also, I mean, the thing is, we just need as many hyperdrives and we need as much hull as we can get. So we might as well just keep going, hey? Although, it, the more we build, the more we're going to need to uh, do, you know, the... Okay, 10.8, we could build all of that. But the more we build, the more stuff we're going to need. Like, we're going to have to build all this logistics out. It's going to start using up oxygen and temperature and, you know, it could be that could cause problems. So let's make sure that we absolutely like being where we are. Right now, the merchants are about to come back. But what I'm wondering is, at some point, we should leave this area... So that we... Ooh, there's a lot of resources to get through, actually. Is that a siren world, though? It's a nebula, so that'll take down our shields. That's not a big deal unless meteoroids come in. We do have the androids around, but I'm not too scared of them. And this place is just littered with trading ships. I just don't... You know, at some point, they're not going to have any more water for me. That's the thing. So maybe this is a good spot. Why don't we build the rest of this hull? And... uh start organizing kind of what we want this ship to look like uh, in the long term. Nothing is more satisfying than watching your logistics robots head over to tirelessly, or sort of tirelessly, until they run out of batteries, of course, do uh, the logistics. Now, obviously, this one isn't full yet, so it's, you know, it's really easy for them to achieve their goal. But, like, look at that. No humans needed. No humans on board the whole ship, in fact, and yet tasks are still being done by uh, LS3. Okay, hang on. Let's let's do this. By um, uh, Deborah and um, this will just be Eric. All right. And, oh no. And then this one will be, uh, uh, this one will have to be uh, Diane. There's a lot of D names here. We got Diane, Deborah, Eric, and then um, uh, K27SR. Uh, Hilarious. Hilarious name for a robot. Okay, we've got another coming, uh, another ship coming in here, and the little Leto, the Jared Leto, I believe we have traded everything that we can off of it, unless it's made some new water. Oh, it has made some new water. Okay, so we're going to trade that water, and we'll get this as well. Um, maybe just sell it some of that and get a little bit of profit. We're doing okay still. We're still up at 19,000 doubloons, so that's going fine. Uh, and I've started transferring more things over. In the meantime, the rest of this hull has been built, but I kind of want to build out a little bit of this here so we can get a, a more central hallway, <laughs> and then start thinking, like, maybe this is the living space. I'm also thinking that this isn't going to be enough storage, so we might want to save some room here to get, an uh, like, auxiliary storage going on, uh, and then have some... I don't know what could be here. This could be... Uh, I'm sure there's lots of stuff I'm missing. We probably need at least a couple of shuttle bays, maybe two, maybe three. And then, so that's probably all of this space here. Uh, so this would be like living space and eating space, like a bathroom right here, I guess. We need a prison. Oh boy, there's a lot to think about here. But I, I think it's coming along. I think it's coming along. I just want to build a bit more hull here. So let me check over here. I believe we're on our last tech block. Good. So once this tech block gets done, we should be able uh, to disassemble this, I think, and then put in a hull, uh, a hull builder. Uh, here, which again, like on our new ship, hopefully there's enough room that we don't have to disassemble things. I think ideally what you do is you have a small work area 
and you have a couple of the things you know you're going to need. You're always going to need a recycler. You you want a metal refinery and an assembler. And then every so often you pop out like the the micro weaver for an advanced assembler or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you shift things up as you need them. Well, that was done very quickly by some uh, nearby construction workers. Again, we have so many crew that we're actually doing fine for uh, uh, logistics. So I'm not too worried about that. But then we're going to do this here build this assembler and what do I need steel plates I've got 53 steel plates so I should be able to make a fair amount of hull here uh, and finish the rest of this shape I've decided to just stay here I think we're just gonna get this one done to uh, Zenny and Carrie uh, who commented that there was just way too much violence in that last episode I have, of course apologize for how dark things have gotten but but may I remind you I mean space space is no easy place I hated that it rhymed. I hated that that rhymed. I want to I wanna take it again, but I won't. Um, so yeah, it is, it's tough out there. But I promise this episode is going to be more of a buildy one for you. More of a designy one. Because clearly, we're probably not going anywhere. With ships constantly popping in. We've got the Dark Hawk now ready to trade. Uh, you know, what are we going to do? Stop trading? Like, move out of this system? Why would we move out of this system? Might as well get, like, these even. Even more water. This is great. We need a 10 stack for the full shed for sure because they've been having trouble. We are running out of stuff that we trade with usually. Uh, maybe some, yeah, some of that would be good. Uh, and let's send another stack of water over to the moving on up. Make sure we have a lot of water for the long journey ahead. And one energy block. What else do they have for us today? Plastic and medical supplies, a lot of useful stuff, but nothing that we need right off the bat. So we'll, we'll keep that going for now. Over here, this is ready to go. So we just need, yeah, we just need like a bunch of hull blocks. Let's get a bunch put on the docket. We can even just, you know what? We could just go continuous. Let's go continuous and even go custom priority and make it the highest. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Continuous hull. Thank you. So that's just going to be continuous and a high priority because, again, we have so many people. Gabby's just looking around the ship, wandering around, wondering how she got it so good. Well, Gabby, ever since you joined us, I believe, I wish you could find out their history. Because I'm sure, I think she was like a pirate or a slave. She was definitely a, a prisoner of ours that joined. So I think with the extra hull being... Uh, built out of all those steel plates that we have. That's a lot of hull, so we're easily going to be able to finish this shape of the ship here. Uh, maybe even get some more engines in, and uh, and this thing will be even more uh, space ready. I was looking through uh, some of the crew, what they're up to, what they can do, and I've decided we're going to move at least a few over uh, from the Fauchette here. So I'm looking for Reeves. Reeves is now going to be housed on uh, the moving on up. Roni as well can go, and Tanya are my first three. The first three graduates to move over full-time to the moving on up. Unfortunately, with the crew that I've moved over, there's really not much for them to do. The only thing on board this ship right now, there's about to be some construction, so hopefully they can do some of that. Reeves, no, well, one. Zero. Okay, so there's only two builders on, on this crew, so I'm going to have to send some more builders over. Whoops. Uh, but uh, my misstep was that there's no logistics to do because the robots do all the logistics. So there's really nothing um, kind of to do on this ship. It's a very relaxed, if slightly uncomfortable work. Uh, now, why doesn't he want to work? He's nauseous. I don't think he really likes... Yeah, I don't think he really likes the uh, algae dispenser, but that's all right because we're getting close to having a lot to do here. We're going to activate the rest of this. 23 hull. We have just about 23 hull already built. Um, and then I think if we have anything left as far as tech blocks and stuff, we have 10 tech blocks, 3 energy blocks. I think we're going to need some more energy blocks here, actually. Um, let's see if they... I thought they had some to trade, maybe, potentially. Potentially... No energy blocks. Okay, so there are occasionally energy blocks coming through this. Uh, oh, they made some more water. I'll get that. So there's a, there's uh, there's going to be an energy block situation that I'm going to need to solve soon here. Uh, but I think we could even get some more engines done. How much are these? System, hyperdrive. Yeah, they don't take energy blocks. So we could build a couple more of those maybe. And then I think it's time. I think it's time to maybe start thinking about disassembling things. Oh, I am not... I'm nervous. Okay, I'm nervous about that because, you know, 
It's nerve-wracking. <laughs> this is the ship that got us started. But I think this makes sense to be the first one to go. The main thing it has on it is all of my crew, right? And uh, some production. The Starlighter at least will continue to make some food for one more cycle. But I think, is this the Fourchette's graveyard? I just don't know. Um, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to start disassembling some of these because that's going to get me a, a bunch of extra blocks. And these ones here are at the end of the chain. So I'm going to dismantle this one and this one. That's four energy blocks there. Uh, these are all, these batteries don't like really work. Let's get another, let's get six energy blocks. Hopefully that's enough to get uh, energy uh, all sorted out throughout this. All the, look at all the activity going on outside this ship. There is a lot going on with the uh, solid content fleet. And can't wait to fill this in and start the build. All right, so we've cleared up most of the space in here. Things are looking good. I temporarily moved these robot pods over there, but they actually, I mean, they kind of look, you know, they, they fit nice is what I'm saying. Maybe more of that along here and then these can move there. But again, I, th I think I should be careful not to get too carried away with the design of this ship because this is, after all, the moving on up. Not the, you know, the sticking on around or whatever you want to call it. All right, so I'm going to bring in these walls here, and that's going to just create some separation between this main storage area. Maybe we need more storage, yes. But right off the bat, I'm thinking we also need to wall this off like here or something. Um, this should be our sort of, this is just the command deck, right? So we don't really need, I'm going to put this here just to kind of remind me uh, that that's the plan. Then it looks like we've got a uh, double wide hallway again, so that's awesome. So let's just like bring this down here. Again, to remind me of kind of what my idea was. And there, you know, this is generally where the walls will probably go. And then this is going to help us get a couple of spots where we can get some, like, uh, power, like some wall nodes up. Now, this is not, is it symmetrical? It's, like, close enough. But again, again, I'm letting go of that. I'm not freaking out. Okay? Because I know that this is uh, just a temporary ship. A temporary ship that's going to look beautiful. Hello. All right, so we're going to have the walls come across here and down to here, okay? Then uh, maybe we have a double door entrance into the the primary uh, barracks. I am worried, I'll say that, I am worried about having all the beds lumped together. Um, I think that could be a problem. We might need an oxygen generator, but again, they are pretty bad on the comfort levels. I think. Oxygen generator is minus 20. So a wall could probably hold most of it at bay. Uh, but we definitely need... We're going to need, like, a lot of oxygen generators, I think. Maybe what we could do is put them on this side and at least have, like, you know, they'll at least be pumping oxygen out. I wish this could be, like, oxygen not included and you could get a whole bunch of, like, pipes and stuff. And that would help with the comfort. So let's do... Uh, what is that? Three walls? Okay, so let's go like this. And this will be our, uh, this could be our, uh, 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 maybe this is, I mean, this is a pretty big part of the ship. Maybe we could do little apartments. No, 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 we don't have time. We don't have time. Let's bring this across here. All right. This is going to be whatever it's going to be. Let's get rid of uh, this wall and this wall here and go for a, one of those in there. So this maybe is going to be our, like, primary, like, hangout. <laughs> this is our... This is our primary hang spot. And then this can be, this is gonna be another little hallway, okay? We're doing a little design, okay? We're, we're, come on. We're just gonna do a little design. Give me this, two, three. Then a wall there. Okay. And then actually let's dismantle this wall. It's a lot of redundant work, I realize, but again, you know, they need something to do. So we're gonna do this here. I'm going to wall this off like so. All right. And then we get a... Uh, these guys get a window. All right. And let's wall it off. And then we're going to have... Oh, these are too small. These are too small. Hang on, hang on. Okay. X. Those ones are too small for my for my dream here. So that's okay, though. That we, We're learning. We're learning. <laughs> we're learning. <laughs> this is episode, what, 50 of this game? 
<laughs> Maybe more. I might have done it. Um, I've, I've, I was about to say I might have done a hundred, but I'm like, oh, I've easily done a hundred uh, uh, Space Haven videos. And we have this here. That's going to look nice. Then we have this here, and we're going to put like a little couch uh, there. Then what we are going to need are probably some uh, vents to move things around. So let's get an air vent in uh, here, here, and here. Oh, those aren't built yet, so we can't do an air vent there just yet. But that's kind of going to be our main sort of sleeping area. We'll dismantle this bed so we get some extra soft blocks. Then we're going to have to move this power node. So there's like a little mini hallway here. Um, you know, and, and you were asking why? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, I don't know why. But this just feels right. Okay, so that's a lot of beds there. So that feels good. Maybe what we could do is... Let's remove this for a second, actually. And let's think about this. What we could do... Where are my doors? So let's dismantle this one. And this one, which I know we just built. But again, this is kind of the building process, right? You, you know, things are going to get thrown around. Willy and or nilly. I'm going to preemptively dismantle that because I think I have a different plan growing right now. I'd love there to be a central hallway, actually. So this is the new plan. Dismantle these two. All right. And this is going to be a hallway, which leads down to a double door. Oh, you know, I've, I, I like this plan. I like what we've got here, but I've got it's too small now, isn't it? Because if I want to do another, if I want to do another apartment block, apartment block, you know what I mean, across from them, it'll need to be at least this wide. So we can get some beds there, wall across like that. More beds in here. So, but then what does that lead us to? That leads us to this area here, which is not a great like living space, is it? We want like kind of a bigger living space. Okay, so let's do away with all that. And go back to my original idea of the living space being a bit more. Oops. Get rid of that. So this will be yeah. This is, we're gonna go back to this idea of the living space. Okay. All right. Good. Well, let's undismantle this. Yeah, that's gonna be good. So this will be the giant living space with some apartments across from it, and maybe we could just do like an apartment block right here. I like calling it an apartment block. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep doing that. I think. What we really need are some turlets. So maybe this is all living space here. Um, we do want some storage potential. So let's put a wall like right here preemptively. Okay, and then this area here can be our, um, can be another block of apartments. <laughs> or maybe this is a larger space. So maybe this, like you enter, right? And it's like, this is the, this isn't the officer's quarters. This is like the everybody, like these are the officer's quarters while we build our transition. And then this here is going to be our, like another sort of, uh, let's go here. Let's get another, like, yeah, this is going to be like a big bed, like a barracks, if you will. Because we can get quite a lot of beds in here. What can we do? Center. Something like that is kind of fun. You know, because again... I know we're just making a, a quick uh, ship, but we might as well make it, you know, we might as well experiment a bit. All right, let's get a big old window in here for these pokes. And it's like, oh, if they don't like being that near the window because it freaks them out, that's okay. They can take one of these beds. So we'll do this here. We'll close all that off. Um, but maybe we can put some oxygen generation in there or something like that. So let's have a door right there to whatever this is going to become. There's a very large barracks, a smaller barracks here. I'm gonna wall that off and put a door there just for good measure. You know, a uh, fire control or something. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. We're gonna need to move this and reconnect that. I think we can use a series of, of wall nodes for that, I think, because like, what is this even giving us? So let's connect it there. There's a lot of connections going on here. That's using up a lot of connections too. We might not want that. Let's go here. Bring that together just so we don't lose that. And let's get some... We'll get these walls built and then we'll build some floor nodes. How about that? So this is looking good. This is our like initial setup. And then I think across the hall, like here, what we could do is have the... Um, what we'll call the, the head, as you would say, in a spaceship. Or no, wait, not a spaceship. A Navy ship, you would say. <laughs> that. 
I think it needs to be wide enough. Um, and yes, again, they're going to be close together, but, you know, there could be a more efficient design where the, the bathrooms are all over the place. But I kind of think that that's what, you know, the, our next design is for. That's what our behemoth is going to be. Our behemoth? I don't know how to pronounce that. So let's bring the walls forward here. And then down and along here. Oops. Okay. Dismantle this one. We're doing a bit of a speed build here. A bit of a speed layout. Because again, temporary ship. I, I, you know, and I know you all know that. And you're like, you're going to comment like, hey, we, you keep saying temporary ship. Like, we know it's a temporary ship. I have to remind myself is kind of what I'm getting at. Let's put a wall here. Okay, then this could have a gas scrubber. It could have an oxygen generator. Uh, we'll put a thermal reg. Can we put one in like right there? No. <laughs> okay. We'll have some thermal regulation and stuff like that in a bit. Um, let's get like a vent there and there. We'll put some vents in once we have the time. What else do we need that's kind of, you know, not, we don't want anything like kind of in the way. Um, in, we're going to need a med bay in case they, we get into some problems. Uh, and it'd be nice to get up a bunch of things like solar panels and stuff, but I just don't think it's going to be possible in this run. Not, not with this ship. Okay, so let's get all this built here because this is like a, a huge barracks. We're going to move this over here, reroute some of this power, at which point we'll be able to, uh, yeah, at which point we'll be able to like really see what we're dealing with here on the SCS moving on up. Just love watching all of the all the pawns moving, all the people working together. Even Captain Annie has come aboard to help create their better future, to help work on the moving on up. Okay, so this is coming along nicely. I think it's just time to do some uh, power uh, distribution. And if I look fleet-wise, I have nine uh, energy blocks. Not you know, not amazing, not an amazing amount of power, but uh, or, or power block abilities. But I think it should be enough to get along. So we're going to keep this floor node here and kind of just move our connections down. So that's going to give us that much coverage. So we kind of need to go about here, somewhere here. So I think that will do that space. And then this one is going to cover to that toilet there. So we need something like right there. Uh, maybe we go one over and see if that's going to work. See if that's going to leave... Might leave a little hole of, of power, though. We could do a floor note, I guess. But for now, let's get that one built and uh, see if that does anything. And let's carry on these this uh, wall node. So that one goes to here. So we kind of want to go to about there with this next power node. Okay. So overall, that's starting to look pretty good here. We've got vents. I just need to make sure there's uh, just an abundance of oxygen generation, basically. that's That's the most important thing is that these poor people don't CO2 themselves to death. Okay, things are starting to look pretty nice in here. Um, I uh, I think, like, you know, some... Uh, let's take a look at our temperature settings. Yeah, so, like, the temperature in general will need to be something that we keep an eye on. Uh, obviously, we're starting to lose it a little bit here. I'm not overly worried again. Oh, this was uh, wildly redundant. What is this guy doing here? Let's dismantle that. We don't need that anymore. This wall, we'll keep that there. And maybe we don't need this guy anymore for the time being now, but we'll, we'll figure out what to do with that. The main thing next to work on is going to be our hang space. Now, I want to get to, like, the most comfortable I can make this thing. I think I also want a lot of windows. So the first step first here is going to be, um, let's get our windows in and have that sort of inform kind of the design. I'm thinking even, like, Two win like a window bay right here. And then maybe we don't need windows along this wall where the command deck will be. So that kind of gives us an idea of where we should put some things. And then I think we also need to get rid of this. Oh, that's really not even doing anything. That's a very weird placement of a floor node. So let's get rid of the, or, uh, you know, a full power node. Let's get rid of that thing and wall this off. And let's move that into here. I think what we could do is like maybe a row of these is probably best. Let's get a row of these. Algae dispenser. Just a row of algae dispensers. Okay. Then maybe some tables here and then couches and stuff there. Let's take a look at that. Furniture. Like a nice big family style table here. 
Oh, I love that you can hear the, the pitter-patter of the feet. Let's move this over. Uh, over here. Now, I am noticing that I have a shortage of soft blocks. But, here's the situation. Do I actually have a shortage of soft blocks? Because... We're about to free up a whole metric ton of soft blocks when we start, unfortunately, sadly, yes, taking apart that ship. That fateful, fateful ship that saw us so well into this bright future. She does need to be taken apart at some point, and that point is coming up very quickly. Uh, life support. Let's get some uh, stuff to do in here. So let's put a jukebox here, which I don't know if you've been watching the streams of the other one that we've started, but at some point, uh, Axel was saying they want to have the ability to get some uh, little like little pops of music and stuff coming out of that. So that's going to be really fun to have. Let's get some lights in here wherever we can. We'll get a wall there, along there in a second. And some lights here, I guess. So that might not, there might not be enough light. So I think we need to f uh, think about our design here. Let's move this one over, actually. Oops, oops. Like that. We could move this one over as well. That's going to free up a spot for another light right there. And a light here as well. But again, the walls, the windows are going to act sort of like a light. And there's no single one, so we should put a light there. Like, we should make this hallway super bright, and then maybe those windows will, like, have some light spill in or something. Let's put another light there. And we already have something there, a power node or a floor node or something. And then power-wise, how are we doing? We've dis we're going to disassemble this any second now, so we're going to need some power in here. I assume some floor nodes will be the best way to do that. Let's preemptively put one, like, right smack in the middle there and get that all connected up. So this guy is disconnected now. How do I get to the... Eh. Eh. <laughs> How do I get... Okay, the wall light has to get built, and then I can select the power node. That's a bit annoying. But I guess if I go here and select my links, I can then link it up. So it's this one that's the problem. It needs to connect to that one. Uh, okay, so let's get rid of this one's links. There we go. And now let's click on this guy. Nope. This one. Up to here. And I still can't click on that. There we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. Now, unfortunately, uh, taking apart some of that stuff has created a very, uh, like a cold snap, if you will, in this area. So I'm just going to get this finished off. It looks like the lighting's going to kind of be okay in here. I'm not 100% sure if this is the final lighting uh, or if it just feels brighter because of all of the uh, temperature issues. Anyway, we're building a, a thermal regulator here. So that's going to hopefully help with that problem. Now, sometimes I've noticed it says, like, oh, cannot set temperature, like, cannot reach this temperature, build more regulators. But eventually I've noticed that that will start to spread. Uh, there is a level at which it's just impossible to heat the space up. But as you can see, this, the temperature is already starting to increase in this area. So if I just, like, don't freak out when you're designing or building a new ship and, and like, spam the area with uh, thermal regulators, try to give yourself room. Uh, to let the thermal regulators sort of bring the overall temperature up. And that will help you uh, kind of not overdo it with all your builds and like run out of materials when you're early game especially and those infra blocks are actually pretty important. Now we have lost a connection here, so let's go take a look at what happened to our links. I think there's just too many links going on here, aren't there? So we almost need, I wish there was a, f a way to get a fourth node in there. Uh, so we just need to solve that. And I think the solution will be uh, running power down through here. This area here is probably going to be our... Maybe we could even just leave it general right now as our production area. So I'm going to just throw a power node right on the floor there. Oh, it's hard to say power node and not pop those peas. Uh, so we're going to get a, a power node there. And we're going to keep on building. Now I do think... Yeah, we're low on beds. So it is time to start disassembling some of the beds on the other ship. What that will mean, though, is that we're probably also going to need to start bringing some folks over uh, even more. So why don't we take, like, let's say, let's take a look at what's going on on the full shed here. Who do we have? One, two, three, four. So we do have, we could do Tobias. We could send Tobias and um, Wednesday and Kaylee and Dr. Thumbs. 
can all move over to this ship now. Okay, things are starting to look a little better here. We've got our temperature back up and uh, our, our nice little quarters in here. I kind of like this blue sort of trim on the wall around the rooms. This one will make a little different just to make it a little more comfy. And then we just need to decide what to do here. So I'm going to actually uh, create another, I think, little mini hallway. So if we create a room that's too wide, and I don't mean like overly wide, I mean like double, you know, too wide, then what does that leave us here? One, two, three, four. So we have this whole chamber here, which I think we could turn into our little medical bay. I think this is going to be enough beds for our whole crew. We might find out that it's not. Uh, but anyway, that leaves a little bit of space here and this chunk uh, here. However, I have just remembered in this moment, in this breath, uh, that we need at least some shuttle bays. Otherwise, it's going to make life really hard. So let's let's get, let's block those out before uh, we get too far ahead of ourselves. And it doesn't quite fit. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, I think what we need to do then is let's let's do a slight indent so we can at least get another shuttle bay in here. Okay, so you know, it, again, it's not the best, right? But it's it's just what we have to do to get by. Um, and I'm really liking kind of the general vibe of the ship already. So let's just do this here. Let's just do it and just close your eyes and let's get get it over with. Okay, I think that's going to be enough there. We could actually go one more over if we wanted to. We could like move this guy here. There. Okay, so let's do that. We'll get this section here can still have some stuff. So hopefully some production. Maybe this production, you know, production needs to be here. And hopefully this is enough storage. Uh, because this area might also fit some hot pangers. Which it will fit at least two. So we could also move this. I don't think we can actually. I think that has to stay there. So we can get at least two in here. Unfortunately, that's the best we can do. What does this look like if I put it right in front there? Yeah, so we can get two in here. Again, not ideal. We want like, a, you know, four or five of them. Actually, let's think about this. We're going to need tons of them because what we want to do is build this new ship as fast as possible. So maybe this has to be that, you know, production style uh, thing here. Let's think. Airlock, hod pangers. Can we get some in here? This could be like a hod panger row right here. Bang, 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 bang. How many can we get there? One, two, three, two, one, two, three. So we can get three in here. We have to do away with that floor node. Which, how connected are you? You're pretty connected. Everything's pretty dialed in there, but if I move you, are you still going to connect to stuff? Kind of, not really. Okay. All right, so the next thing to solve is going to be at least two shuttle bays and hod pangers. Now, what we could do is do away with the walls in this area, but I kind of want to give some separation because this is going to be uh, pretty uncomfortable uh, for folks. They're not going to like living near these. So maybe this is too generous of a space up here, and we should think about having some production going on back here as well. As that continues, I notice that there is an ever-lasting uh, chain of, of people coming back, and what I've noticed is that they do tend to leave the system spawn more water or create more water and then come back uh, what i'm wondering here and this is a great question to ask axel is like do they mine these things as well do they go in here and mine these things but they actually don't deplenish for the player so it's like i can still come and mine these but this is generating the resources in the sector like if i were to go through and mine everything would all of these ships eventually just run out of resources i'm not sure but unfortunately the other problem is We've got the Merchant Federation here. I don't think they have any weapons. Oh, they're armed to the teeth. I don't know if the Merchant Federation are uh, against the slavers, though. They might be friends. Uh, so we do have the slavers on the way in. I need to make sure if we have on this full shed here, we have one full shooty team, half a shooty team, and another full two full shooty teams. Okay, that's good. So we're going to need to bring some uh, shuttles back and get ready to defend this ship. I don't think we should leave. I think we're at a precarious spot. We could take up and leave. It's all mass supported. We have a crew over here. Uh, but we're about to, you know, since we're sitting here, since we've got these this constant trade coming in and out, I think this ends up being one of the better spots to sit. And then, uh, you know, mine the rest of this thing with our, with our transition ship while we slowly take the Starlighter apart and move everybody over here. I think that's what we have to do. So in the meantime, the slavers are going to come in here. Hopefully we get these shuttles back. And uh, 
and get some more resources from them. Maybe. Is is the military around, even? I don't know if I've ever seen the military in this. Oh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> in fact, there's a military base right there. Okay, so this is good. That could be our next move. We'll take down these pirates. We'll take a bunch of uh, prisoners, go over to the military alliance, and render them all to justice, at which point... Uh, will be up and moving and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll have had chance to salvage their ship and get some resources and we'll have had chance to set this thing up and get it ready. As they head to their ships, I, I survey one of my shooty teams here and we gotta be careful. Marie unfortunately slept on the floor. I am concerned about the bed situation. Maybe I've taken too many beds apart. Uh, so that's not ideal. However, uh, we'll just be careful with her, uh, as we know that she is, uh, not got a lot of stamina. Where's the pirate vessel? It's all the way over here. Okay, and it is fairly armed. It looks very menacing, I will say that. Okay, so we gotta be careful, but we're about to have another, uh, excellent, uh, ship that we can, uh, you know, pick the bones, so to speak, off the carcass. So unfortunately to those those that commented things were getting a little too violent, it looks like uh, the violence is all set to continue, unfortunately. So the initial shots they're taking are going straight to the moving on up. That's no good, but we do have two hulls giving us uh, advanced hull stability, not the best hull stability, as uh, blocks and hull breaches are already starting to appear. What I'm going to do is uh, airlock... Let's make sure we have some spacesuit lockers because it looks like things are going to get a little tough here. So let's put one... Oh, we can't put one there. I've kind of like painted myself into a little bit of a corner here. Let's get one airlock uh, spacesuit locker there. And unfortunately, we're going to need at least... I mean, what else are we going to put here anyway? Let's put one right in there. Okay, good luck over there. Hopefully nobody dies. <laughs> Meanwhile, our boarding party heads on over. Oh, that is a lot of rounds coming down on... Oh, they've moved. They've moved on. They're also targeting the Starlighter, so that's good because uh, the uh, the hull breaches here are causing problems. There's some repair work to be done. I think they can hold this ship together. All four rounds back over, transitioned back to the, the moving on up. The moving on up is catching fire now. Oh, no. Okay, okay. We got to build those. We got to build those things fast. All right, hang on. I don't know what's going on there. They're, oh, they've gone to the airlocks to get spacesuits. Okay, that's good. In the meantime, we'll launch our attack and try to spike their guns as soon as possible. Okay, come on in here. You dock here as well, and then you move in next. Okay, careful. We don't want to lose any of you. All right, good first moves here, so let's move them out. All right. Team four. Heads on in. I wish we could... I wish we could... Oh, wait. Hang on. Careful. Okay. Pull back a little bit. Good. All right. Let's unleash team number one. I feel like they're still firing, so we're going to need to be careful. I don't know where this other vessel went. Where did my other shuttle go? That's all right. Come on through here. Let's go. We got to stop these guns. They are blasting this ship apart. There's hull, hull breaches everywhere. There's fires breaking out everywhere. We have got to get to the command center as fast as possible. There's my other, my other shuttle. Maybe it got hacked or something. I don't know. Let's dock it here and keep moving forward. Oh, this area, is, it's tough to get around in here. I'm predicting there's going to be a few more people to shoot. But we're racing against the clock here. There is our team. We go straight for John. John, without a chair, is still firing the guns. He is determined to take our ship, the moving on up down. We get John to stop. And we... Oh, okay, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. You can leave him alone, guys. <laughs> okay, Whitney. We get Whitney to stop. Whitney gives up. Do you guys, guys, leave him alone? Oh, my God. I, I gave a kill order a while ago, but I didn't mean for him to, like, follow through to that extent. My goodness. Okay. Uh, we're not giving... That person's not letting us talk to them, which to me means uh, that there's still a crew somewhere around here. Team 3 heads down here. Team 1 over here. Team 4 this way. Oh, here we go. Team 3, burst through here. See if we can cut them off at the pass. You guys come out here. Come around behind them and we'll stop them. Tobin's coming in. Man, Tobin was not messing around there. 
And there we are. There we have it. They have given up. Whew, that was close. We need to go assess the damage, I think, on the other ship. In the meantime, Captain Annie, I want you to go uh, to Torben here and accept his surrender. And I don't know, hopefully this is enough, uh, folks, but, you know, I didn't do too much killing. You know, we're going to try to keep most of them and, and, and uh, give them up for... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, prisoners, thank you. And give them up to, to face justice. So, I mean, you know, is that is that less violence for you? <laughs> Look, it's hard to feed all these mouths, so we just had to be careful. But knowing that the Federation is nearby uh, leads me to believe we're going to be okay. Captain Annie searches that room. I'd love to see what our haul is on this ship. Okay, let's get you guys to go this way, and one of you can go this way. You guys go and search uh, search this room here. Wait, uh, go into there. Go into there. Thank you. All right. And what do, like, look at this vessel. Let's just take a minute to admire the strength of this vessel. Love this command deck. Got some oxygen generation going on. A big board room in here. Ours is going to be bigger. No big deal. You've got all the weapons carefully blocked out into here with some other uh, utilities around it. An airlock on either side with the shuttle bays for boarding us. And then a nice little home with a, a bathroom. It looks a little utilitarian. That one's like a little sad, but they mirror on either side of the ship with, I believe, the scanner, I think, in the middle. Yeah. Power in the back and some engines. My goodness. Yeah, this is a well-designed ship. I love this ship. But I also love taking all the stuff. Now, we're heading over to the uh, moving on up with this stuff. Okay, we don't have time uh, to mess around with, you know, whatever. We're trying to, we're trying to move on quickly here. So we'll undraft these vessels. We'll move these pirates over, or slavers over, to their new homes, the prison. And then we're going to get about the business of repairing. Oh, man, some fires broke out. So we need some more gas scrubbers in here immediately. So let's get those in here before we lose anybody. Cannot remove spacesuit. Yeah, things are not going well for these folks. So we need a gas scrubber uh, up here. And there is one down here, so that's going to hopefully help uh, repair that area. They can't seem to remove their spacesuit. What's the issue? O2 is bad. Is fine. They probably just can't get here because the temperature's are uh, wrong. Oh my goodness, what happened to the temperature? Uh, probably just from the fires. Okay, so once the temperature goes down or once they build one of these, we should be able to uh, take off our spacesuits and then fix this ship. One realization I've just had, while everything's cleaning up, of course, is if I do away with all the walls along here, what I could do is put the wall along behind these power nodes, which gives me a little room for some stuff. I could move, shift this wall further down and put some more comfort stuff in here anyway, so that's kind of good. And then we could row, we could fill a whole row of hod bangers right along here. So I think I'm going to do exactly that. So again, the Sky Digger, which is a new uh, ship, and the Leto have uh, re-entered. So let's see, I think, if my theory is correct, that they will have spawned a little bit more water. So yeah, here we go. Uh, just sitting around in an area with lots of high trade, they kind of continuously spawn water and has allowed us to actually just sit here while we do all of this. Now, we could just stay here and fully disassemble both ships and live off of the energy rods and water supplied by the trades. Uh, but it's just not as exciting, of course. So I don't think we will do that, but I'm just saying, like, that's not a bad strategy. Now, there's been a little bit of trial and error here. However, I think this is the final ble uh, best placement. One reason why is because now this is going to give me... Uh, if I'm just going to... Whoops, whoops. Place these walls here. If I... Um, yeah, so if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move these walls forward, basically, this creates a little room size 2 here that I could put some things in. Uh, various things that we might need, various sundries, or maybe even just a washroom or something. But this creates a double wall barrier uh, between these beds and uh, eventually what we're going to create, which is all of the uh, hod pangers here. And you can see the double wall barrier does provide a nice little comfort uh, buff here. So, like, there's no... The shuttle hangar spills out beyond into this area here, but then this double door happens, and then the comfort rating goes back up. We'll obviously get a bunch of lights in here as well, uh, and uh, that's going to help us. I think what we need to do, actually, one, two, one window there, and one window there. Uh, let's have a no. Let's have a double door. Let's uh, let's do <laughs> let's. 
Let's dismantle all this for a second and get a double door here and some windows. I think that's going to look nice. And of course, got to get a window here too. All right, so with this all in place, we should be able to start laying down a metric ton of uh, hod pangers, which is going to help us with our construction. So that's going to be six hod pangers there. We can put a few more supplies and resources right here, maybe even another oxygen generator, which could be a good idea. Let's get one here. Knowing full well that we'll have a buffer so that people won't get too annoyed being there. And I think we'll dismantle this to create a door there. And we could have, uh, let's just wall this off. So that's a little happy accident that we've created, like, a, this little indent. And could provide a spot to, like, slap a bunch of lights or something. So that'll be good. Now for the uh, shuttle bay, I think I just want people to be able to see what's going on in there. So let's just get them the, this window and this window, just like that. Why? Well, I don't know. I just like being able to look into the shuttle bay. The time has come now to abandon the shuttle pods. Or the hods, or whatever we were calling them. Hopefully we'll find a home for them later. If not, I'm not sure what happens to them. I think they just, like, float and eventually despawn, maybe? At any rate, we needed to start dis uh, we needed to start uh, <laughs> dismantling these hot bangers so that we can start moving the tech blocks over here and building these ones. We are r uh, right out of resources, and these folks didn't have anything advanced to trade for us. Just the usual. Just spawning a bit of water and ready to go. Oh, here it is. So they don't, they don't despawn. Here's another one that I left. So that's great. We'll be able to claim these and put them back in there once we've built that. But yes, needless to say, one step at a time, uh, the transition is happening. Let's start dismantling the odd thing that we don't need anymore. This will get us an infra block, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, these will be... Th this will be great. We'll dismantle this, and that'll get us a couple of soft blocks back. Up here, do they need all this? No. There's, In fact, there's not that many prisoners. So they don't need that. They don't need this bed anymore, or this bed. So that's good. All sorts of stuff that we can dismantle, and it's going to make our lives a little sad in the in the meantime while the transition happens, but it's worth it. Well, here you have it. The uh, SCS moving on up. I think it's time, unfortunately, to leave at this point. Whoops. No, wait, wait. Whoops. Okay, uh, we forgot about these prisoners. All right, we're going to get them, and then it's time to leave. I've noticed that we're actually running quite low on water. Uh, so having worked on this ship for a while, I think it's time that we uh, get out of here. <laughs> okay, now we can warp away and take to the stars. Again, running very low on resources. Uh, we could go get this ice down here, but we are going to be dealing with a siren world, or a nebula, rather. I think we're going to go to this space base here uh, and see what it has for us. Ooh, there's some water. I wish we could just break one of the ships away, go get this water, and come back. But I was kind of thinking lore-wise... Oh, I want to get more engines down there. Lore-wise, it might make sense to leave the fourchette here. Um, you know, as some kind of uh, space graveyard. So that the MAB Kovzetkin here can have a, ch a chance to kind of um, pick through all the bones of the ship. Like, maybe this is, like, where we're leaving it so that it can become scrap. That's kind of like the internal lore that I have going on. Uh, when in reality, what I need to do is drop these folks off. So I'm going to keep Frank and Colleen. And I just think for in terms of the fact that we have currently zero water on board the Fouchette, 32 left on board uh, the uh, Starlighter and five on the moving on up. Uh, leads me to believe that we are just fresh out of water and here they are about to get a whole bunch of water delivered to their to this thing. So we need to get we need to sell these crew. We need to uh, send them into to get to, to get justice immediately. So remember we're not getting rid of oh we could get rid of this whole crew maybe. Let me just triple check here. Back uh, okay back uh, sorry goodbye. One second. Uh, who do I like? I like Colleen who is a, uh, what did she used to be? I can't tell what she used to be. We like Colleen, and we like one more person somewhere in here. Frank. Colleen and Frank. So let's let's remember not to get rid of Colleen and Frank. The others I'm fine with getting rid of. Uh, claim bounties. So of the slavers, I don't see Colleen and Frank here. So we could release them. Let's ask for a price and see what they can give us for that. Two hyperfew tool arm. And 2,000 credits. So let's take that on board the moving on up and get rid of those folks. Great. Now let's uh, get rid of the pirates, Frank and Colleen. Nope, we're not going to get rid of them. Oh, that's perfect. That was very organized. 
Okay, now let's do a little bit of trading with them. I know that they... Uh, we just took all their uh, food, but we need to send some water over to the Starlighter to keep the food production going. Uh, so we need that to happen. All right, and uh, we need... Uh, let's send some of that over to the Moving On Up, which is about to become very busy. And, of course, some of this. See, this is, again, this is why you have this kind of... You want to save up a lot of profit because then you can do this kind of thing here. So let's get the rest of this. And then I think... Uh, I'm hoping that you found this to be some truly solid content. Because in the next next, next episode, we are going to have to start... Yeah, that's good. We're going to have to start picking the bones of this old vessel apart. Piece by piece. But also kind of like as quickly as we can so like this is kind of empty let's dismantle these let's dismantle this uh i hope you've been enjoying the other series and you know i hope you're also you know doing well wherever you may be um i don't know i think i'm feeling like contemplative contemplative uh because i've been working so hard on this vessel for so many years putting this thing together and now here we are starting to take her apart I think these are the basic things to start with to dismantle. Uh, yeah, we don't really need all this power left on it. And I know there's a way you could like start dismantling the whole ship, but I kind of want to keep the ship, you know, space worthy just in case. Just in case there's like something that uh, goes wrong and we need to bug out of this system. And if that is the case, uh, you will find out all about it in the next episode of Space Haven. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. Hope you're having a wonderful week so far, and we'll see you in the next video.